In this video, you'll learn how to use Screencast-O-Matic to create a narrated PowerPoint presentation that students can watch whenever it's convenient for them. To begin, you'll need to have already created your PowerPoint presentation and open it up on your screen. To access the screen recording software, we need to go to the internet and then go to the website screencast-o-matic.com. The reason we'll use Screencast-O-Matic is because it's free and you don't need to download the software. To begin, you just click on the Start Recording button. Then, a frame comes up that shows exactly what part of your screen will be recorded. Everything within the dotted lines will be recorded. Let me minimize this window, and I can change the size of the box so that it fits the size of my PowerPoint presentation. To begin recording, I'll click on the red Start Recording button. You'll get a three second countdown, and then as you speak and move your mouse around, Screencast-O-Matic records what you do on the screen and what you say. You could pause the recording by clicking on the pause button. When you're ready to start recording again, click on Continue Recording. Notice it's keeping track of the length of your recording. When you have a free account, you're limited to a 15-minute recording. When you're finished, click on Done. To see and hear your recording, you can click on the Play button. And then stop it by pressing Pause. Now that you've recorded your presentation, how do you get it so students can view it? If you have a YouTube account, you could click here and publish to YouTube. Otherwise, you can put your video on Screencast-O-Matic by clicking on Publish to Screencast-O-Matic. It will prompt you to either log in or create a free account. If this is your first time using Screencast-O-Matic, click Create Free Account. And then you can register by entering your email address, a password, twice, click on I agree to Terms of Service, and then click Register. Now we can click on Publish to Screencast-O-Matic and you can give your presentation a title. If we scroll down, notice that you have the option to set a password. If you set a password, students will need to enter in this password to be able to view the video. Next, we can just click on Upload to SOM or Screencast-O-Matic. The upload for this video is quick because we have a short one, but longer videos will take more time. Once the upload is complete, at the top, you can click on the link that takes you to your video. To get this video into our learning management system, you'll need to copy the link. To do that, you'll go to the top and highlight the link, and then right-click and choose Copy. For the final step, you'll need to log into your learning management system. In this example, we'll use Blackboard. I'll locate my course in Blackboard and you can put your lecture in any of the content areas. For this one, I'll click on Assignments. And then under Build Content, I'll choose Item. Now I'll give this item a name. And inside the text area, I'll type a description and any direction. Then I'll paste in the link to our presentation. Now to make it easier for students to be able to access this, I'll click and drag to highlight this link, and then I'll click on the link icon. And notice that the link came up here. I want that as my link path name. And then for target, I'm going to choose Open in a New Window and click Update. Now I don't need to fill in anything else. I can just click Submit, and it will go to the bottom of everything I have on my page. This is what the students will see. They click on the link and it opens up in a new window and they can watch the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at the Office of Academic Technology.